You are watching hashtag nerd swag. Yo, 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 what's up, comic book reading universe? It is I, your friendly neighborhood comic book collector, Steven Savelli, and I'm here today to bring to you my comic book haul for books that were released on May 27th, 2015. Today I have five comics to show off for you guys. Three are Marvel, one is IDW, and one is Image. Not a lot of books, but next week is going to be gigantic, gigantic. Um, during my comic book review, I will be giving one free giveaway for one of my Marvel comics. Um, I will also be doing a kind of a Funko Nerd Swag grab um, because I wanted to show off some new pop vinyls that I got. And... I drop stuff. And I'm going to be unboxing this little Avengers Mystery Mini at the end. So, I will be doing my cover of the week and my most anticipated title of the week as always. If you like the video, share, like, comment, all that stuff. But there's timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, and the first issue I got is from Marvel Comics and that is the Infinity Gauntlet. Issue number one. This is the Scotty Young variant. Uh, it has Thanos on here saying, come at me bro. Um, really cool variant, really cool cover. Um, excited to read Infinity Gauntlet, kinda. They're just using that name to sell this comic. I read it and <laughs> there's really not, it's not really Thanos Infinity Gauntlet storyline, at least at this point. So they're kind of just, yeah, yeah. I mean, Thanos is in it, but I mean, Anyway, they're living off the Infinity Gauntlet uh, <laughs> name here, so um, that's the first issue I got. I'm excited to uh, continue to buy this little mini series, and I just love this Scotty Young variant. Um, I'll put it up here with my other Scotty Young books. Okay, let's hop into the next issue, and that is Old Man Logan, issue number one. This is written by, written by Brian Michael Bendis. Really excited about this because the art looks stupid good. Like, I... I am very happy to be reading this book. Look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. So this is Old Man Logan, issue number one, Secret Wars tie-in. Um, I will be giving a free digital code for this. This is a $4.99 book, and it's gonna be, it is a good one. It's really, it's really, really good. Um, to get this free comic, the first person to comment down below, tell me how in the recent Death of Wolverine story arc, when Wolverine died, what was he encapsulated in? If you tell me what he was encapsulated in, first person do that in the comments, I will send you a free digital code for Old Man Logan. And don't go sell it on eBay. Actually use it to read the book. Okay, Old Man Logan, issue number one. Pretty excited about that. All right, the last Marvel book I picked up this week is Hawkeye, issue number three. Now let me just preface this by saying, isn't this a beautiful cover? I want you to take this cover in, okay? This is a beautiful cover. Dum, dum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's not, that's not Hawkeye's theme song, but it is Disney, and Disney owns Marvel, and, you know, we'll figure that out. Well, Disney owns Star Wars. I was hoping you guys would make that connection. Um, this is Hawkeye, <laughs> issue number three. I and been reading Hot Guy, I was gonna drop it, and I was like, wait, look at that cover. I must have this. Um, so I purchased it. That's the bad part of being about being a collector. You see a cover? I wanna frame this and put it on, on my wall. That's that's how much I'm in love with this cover right now. So anyway, that's Hot Guy issue number three. Well, the next issue I picked up is from IDW Publishing, and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 46. We're still in the fallout of one of the Ninja Turtles dying. If you've lived under the rock, Donatello died. He didn't die. That's fine. They got a lot of hype. It's still a key issue. It's the first time they even got close to killing a Ninja Turtle. Um, anyway, this is the aftermath of that. This continues to be a amazing comic book. I've been raving about it on the channel for about two years now, and I don't know what else I can say to make people like it, um, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the real deal. And if you don't know, now you know. That's kind of my vibe on this right now. Um, so, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number 46. And the last book I picked up this week, 
pretty small week is Outcast issue number nine, What Lurks Within. This is written by Robert Kirkman, the author of The Walking Dead, the walker, of, the author of Invincible. He's a stud, and this book continues to be good. It's about a well, I don't want to tell you. The first trade paperback is out, so go to Barnes & Noble, go to your local comic book shop, support small business, buy the first volume of Outcast. Really solid book, um, really like the art, and Robert Kirkman continues to be a stellar writer. All right, that's my comic book haul this week. That's it. Now let's go into the most anticipated title of the week, let's go into my cover of the week, and then we'll go into some Funko haul thing. Okay. So my cover of the week, I have to say, because I bought this book because of its cover, is Hawkeye, issue number three. I just love the aesthetic of this. Big fan, um, like the composition, like the contrast, and anything with a sword, it's kind of like cheating in my book. Um, I have a full real metal sword. I never showed it off in this channel. Um, it's right over there, and I might do this, as, I might do it one time. Anyone that's been to my place, I have a shield, and they pick it up and they say, is this real? I'm like, yeah, it's real. It's a real shield, or not shield. It's a real sword. I do have a Captain America shield. You can hold the sword. And my most anticipated title of the week. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go with Old Man Logan. Was really looking forward to this for a long time now. And once I opened it up and saw the artwork, I was like, oh my gosh. There is no going back from loving this book. It's gonna be, this is just awesome. Okay, Old Man Logan is my most anticipated title. All right, let's go into a small, quick um, Funko haul. Um, the first one I picked up because I'm doing my... You can't really see it. I have my X-Men collection gathering back here on my shelves. Is I picked up Professor X. Um, this is number 57. The only one in this line, or I'm missing Mystique. That's all that I need to purchase for my X-Men line to be complete at this point until they release more people. I do have Wolverine as well. He's somewhere, I don't know. They're all over my room. Um, but yeah, so I picked up Professor X. Really excited about this. Barnes & Noble, $8.95. Don't buy them on eBay if there's a Barnes & Noble even close to you. Okay, and the next Funko I picked up, which I'm stoked about, is the CW's TV shows are releasing Funkos. Yes, so I got the Arrow, the Oliver Queen Arrow um, pop vinyl, and this is super swaggy and legit and I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna pick all of these up. There's no doubt about it. The flash ones are amazing. Reverse flash is so cool. I can't wait to buy all these but um, um, the arrow is really cool. So back here we have Oliver Queen, we have Arrow, we have Unmasked Oliver Queen Arrow, we have Black Canary, Deathstroke, Deathstroke Unmasked, and John Diggle in the um, Arrow costume. So definitely be picking all these up and Stoked beyond belief that they released those. That arrow one is just too cool. And I'm gonna unbox this Avengers Age of Ultron Mystery Mini, which I also picked up at Barnes & Noble. I went to the comic book shop, I was like, man, there was crap this week. Well, not crap, there's really good comics, but not a lot of things came out, so I had to indulge. Bought two pop vinyls, had to get this. What I'm looking for is the Hulkbuster. I went and like did a field test. I actually have like, I have gangs of these that I haven't even opened yet, but they're all pretty light, and I felt this, and I was like, this feels heavy. This feels like a Hulk buster. Um, so I'm hoping that's what it is. If not, then I'm really bad at this game. But apparently the Hulk buster weighs more than other ones, so I'm hoping that's what this is. And we'll just go with that. So let's open this up real quick. It's not the Hulk buster. <laughs> all right, let's see what this is. No way. I got Ultron, and I just pulled him out of the box like this, and his head is backwards. That's awesome. Okay, so let's spin his head back around. Okay, that's the correct direction. So I've already unboxed Ultron on the channel. Um, so this isn't anything new. I already have this guy. What I might end up doing is throwing him into the 500 and 500 subscribers contest giveaway. So we got Ultron here, really cool. We'll just place them right up here with my other uh, mystery minis you can kind of see in the background. And that's my haul this week. Um, thank you guys for stopping by and let me know what your favorite book was and your most anticipated title, your cover of the week, and out of the Funkos I got, which one was your favorite? We got Professor X, we got the Arrow, and we got 
Ultron, but I dropped him. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite down below in the comments. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.